Welcome back, book buddies. Today, we are going to carry on reading a book from the Mr. Men, Little Miss Advent Calendar. Let's go. Let's open day 14. Mr. Nonsense isn't himself. Day 14. Mr. Nonsense isn't himself. On this particular morning, the streets were empty, strangely empty. I wonder why, said Little Miss Scalabrain to herself. Then she saw Little Miss Late. Why are the streets so empty, Little Miss Late? she asked. And why are you running? Why, today is a competition for the Nonsense Cup, she said. Had you forgotten? They're about to announce the winner of this silliest idea. Oh, how forgetful of me, replied Little Miss Scatterbrain. Nonsense land. A very strange place indeed with some very strange inhabitants. And it is in Nonsense land, at the top of a tree, that Mr. Nonsense lives. If you were to take a walk in Nonsense land, you would be astonishedly astonished. In Nonsense Land, they play strange games of tennis, on strange tennis courts, with strange rackets. On this morning, Mr. Nonsense was playing with Mr. Silly and Little Miss Dotty. As for the fourth player, it was a pig. Yes, a very cute pink pig. Donk! Poor Mr. Nonsense! A tennis ball hit him on the nose. Mr. Nonsense was knocked out. His friends rushed to help him. They tried to get him to talk, but with no luck. Would Mr. Nonsense ever be the same again? This is terrible, cried little Miss Dotty. We must do something to help poor Mr. Nonsense. Meanwhile, the competition for the Nonsense Cup had begun. One by one, contestants amazed the crowd with their silly ideas. A helmet with wings. How silly. And what do you have there, Mr. Lazy? Asked little Miss Brainy. This, said Mr. Lazy sleepily, is an alarm clock with no numbers, no hands. Ah, at last, I can sleep for as long as I like. This alarm clock will never go off. How silly. At last, Mr. Nonsense had come around. How are you feeling, Mr. Nonsense? asked Mr. Silly anxiously. Why are you calling me Mr. Nonsense? said Mr. Nonsense. That's not my name. But of course it's your name, said little Miss Dotty. And up there is your house. My house, he said, much astonished. Only birds live in trees. Mr. Nonsense really wasn't himself at all. Back at the competition, the contestants took it in turns to take to the stage. The crowd clapped and clapped when they saw Mr. Bouncer's idea. It was egg juggling. What a silly idea. You may not be surprised to hear Mr. Nonsense didn't want to have anything to do with such a silly competition. But Little Miss Dotty pushed him onto the stage, hoping it might help him remember who he was. Stop calling me Mr. Nonsense, complained Mr. Nonsense. I don't even know who you are, and you don't have the right to... Welcome, Mr. Nonsense, said Little Miss Brainy. Imagine that this year, as every other year, you will have found a splendidly silly idea. But I'm not Mr. Nonsense, protested Mr. Nonsense, to amaze Little Miss Brainy. Little Miss Dotty was worried. Mr. Nonsense's bump on the head had really changed him. At that moment, Mr. Nonsense was declared the winner of the Nonsense Club. Have you guessed why? It was because the more Mr. Nonsense said he wasn't Mr. Nonsense, the more the judges loved what they thought was the silliest idea yet. Hip hip hooray! cried the, cr the crowd. Mr. Bounce joined in the celebration by juggling higher and higher. But Mr. Bounce threw an egg so high that he just couldn't catch it and... Donk! The, uh, the egg hit Mr. Nonsense on the nose. How nice to see you, little Miss Dotty, smiled Mr. Nonsense. 
but I'm feeling rather hungry. Let's go eat a strawberry jam and mustard omelette. Thank goodness, smiled little Miss Dotty. You're back to your usual self. And ever since this day, can you guess what Mr. Nonsense did when he played tennis? He wears a helmet, of course, with wings. The end. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.